Welcome back. A few weeks ago, we launched our search for Britain's top cat. We asked you to send in a short video of your talented Tom Cats, and after sifting through a mountain of moggies, we finally whittled it down to five fabulous felines who are sharpening their claws as we speak. It wasn't just open to Tom Cats. No. Any cat could enter. Any cat. Uh, our five <laughs> finalists are battling out for a chance to feature in Your Cat magazine, uh, have a professional photo shoot and £500 worth of pet vouchers to spend on whatever the cat wants. To well, spend it on. talking of talented Tom Cats, we have our very own talented Tom Fletcher here to tell us a little bit more before we start. What is it about cats that you love so much? Because you do have cats. I do have cats. Yeah, I've always loved... I think it runs in the family, I think. My, uh, my great-great-granddad was a cat, actually. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I think I, we just had one of those houses that seemed to be magnetic to cats when I was yes. a kid. And we, I mean, my wife seemed to have inherited that now as well. And I think just... you have to earn a cat's respect, don't you? You do, yeah. So you, you really have, you have like... to work for it. But it, it means more, doesn't it, when, it, when a cat think... likes you? Well, you've got, you've got Marvin. I have Marvin, yeah, who's our ginger cat. And then you've got Princess Leia and Princess Aurora. Yeah, ridiculous names. What the they? hell were you thinking? Uh, my, I'll blame my wife for that. <laughs> oh, Princess Leia was mine as a Star Wars fan. So do you shout out of the door, Princess Leia? I, I, I leave off the princess. <laughs> do you? Yeah. And then we have Mr Tickles, who's not ours, but he lives at our house, but is an equally ridiculous name. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't name him. He just had a sparkly collar which said Mr Tickles on and now lives at our house. So, so does he disappear? Could he be someone else's? Yeah, he's someone else's, and we left a note on his collar with our number on saying, if this is your cat, he lives at our house most of the time, and now they call us up when they're going away on holiday. So oh, that's, that's good. Really Tickles nice. might be with you a bit more. That's than a good you, idea you to yeah. do, actually. But one, one time, they, uh, they actually they came back from holiday to pick him up, and about 15 minutes later, he came back into the cat, really? the cat black, yeah. <laughs> He's chosen you. He's chosen our house, yeah. OK, well, we have our finalists, but what about our judges? Uh, right, well, first up, we have Sally Tokens who is a uh, supreme judge uh, of the, uh, sorry, of the Supreme Show, which is the cat version of Crufts. Oh, very good. Yes. So uh, we've also got a celebrity cat lover, all-round uh, good judge, uh, Arlene Phillips. And then we've got uh, Jackie Weaver, an established animal psychic. Well, welcome. Very, very nice to see you all. Um, Sally, first of all, let's ask you, what are you looking for in our cat? Uh, generally speaking, they must have bright eyes, good coats, and in good condition with a lovely temperament. Okay. okay. Arlene, you're a cat lover. I am. And I'm looking for Star Sparkle, a cat you'd want to put in a movie. Really? Oh, okay. Dancing yeah. might be able to, maybe if they could dance. Dancing they might be if they could dance, Something but people cats. love cats <laughs> and we want a film starring a cat. It's always dogs. Yes. Mm. Okay. And then, Jackie, finally, what is a cat whisperer? Somebody that can talk to cats, have a conversation with cats. Do they talk <laughs> back? Yes. <laughs> well, you, you what did they say? To my cat, didn't I you? did, yes. A long time ago. Yes. You just get information. It's like talking to a child. It comes through to our mind and we tell our owners what they're saying and the owners will understand it. So oh, how is yeah. that going to help you today? What are you looking for? A very talkative cat? Yeah, and I'm looking for personality because they're all individuals. So something that's got a lovely personality, great connection with their owner as well. Lovely. All right then, Tom, who is up first? Right, up first we have Wesley. This is Wesley, our two-year-old rescue, along with his brother and his adopted sister. He is the most hyperactive cat I know, and he's an incredibly curious cat. He's always exploring. Sit. Stay. Up. Good boy. Clever oh, cat. cat. Right, let's meet Wesley and his owner, Anastasia. Oh, Here he is. Hiya, welcome. Hi, Wesley. Oh, he is gorgeous. That's when, a proper witch's black cat, isn't it? Is. it? Right there. In time for Halloween. Tell us about him. Right, Wesley is a two-year-old black domestic short hair cat. He's aged two, and his special ability is gymnastics. Clever, Wesley. And, uh, and we should also say that it's very difficult for them to perform as they would normally perform at home, because, of course, this is a very much a different environment uh, for them. Um, oh, <laughs> hiding, hiding, away. hiding away. They've gone a bit shy. Uh, what, are your, what are your thoughts, judges? I think he's got a beautiful coat, a lovely gloss to it, and bright green eyes. Very expressive. Mm -hmm. OK. Is he your movie star, Cat? I think he's a very strong and handsome hero, and I think... He could be a bit of a devil. Yes, I think you might be right. What is he saying to you, more importantly? <laughs> he said to me, I am me so clever. <laughs> I'm so clever. And he actually likes to be challenged and to learn. So the more you get him to do, the more he tries. 
Okay. He also says to me, he's cheeky, and I kind of think he pours you on the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's a great story, actually. Uh, Anastasia heard a buzzing sound and pressed his tummy lightly, and a, a live bee flew out of his mouth. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my goodness me. So, yeah, he is a little bit naughty. Well, yeah. Wesley and Anastasia, the fate lies in the judge's hands. We will catch up with you a little bit later. Tom, who have you got next? Well, up next we have Elfie. Right, let's meet Elfie and his owner, Lindsay. Hello, Elfie Hello. and Lindsay. You enjoyed that video as much as you <laughs> yeah. you brought out the same cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lovely to see you. Thank you, you too. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. How's he feeling? He's, he's all right, actually, yeah. yeah. He's feeling good. He's been acting a bit, bit of a diva. Yeah, <laughs> really? Really? Show, he's been show coming, okay. coming down. He's normally quite shy. He's gorgeous. Tell us a little bit about him, then. OK, well, Elfie is a six-year-old black domestic moggy whose special ability is sensitivity. It's very oh, sensitive. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, Sally, let's find out from you first of all. Well, he's actually a very butch lad and he's very <laughs> relaxed and very at home here in the studio. He's not getting phased by this at all. No, very good. Um, Elfie has the most amazing eyes, bore holes through you, but also, when I see Elfie, I just want to pick him up and hold him. I think he's a real... Pet. Mm. Okay. okay. All right. And uh, next to comment. <laughs> I think he he's very very in tune with you. He says that he he likes to watch you, and I think you often catch him when you're sitting there, the reading, whatever. He's like sitting watching you okay. and stuff. And he said he loves the protection of your house, and you give him yeah. comfort. Oh, thank, oh, you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much you. indeed. Right. Uh, let's meet uh, Riley, who's our next cat. Riley. Riley really is one cat in a million. He loves to play fetch. Especially with scrunched up paper balls. He steals and plays with almost anything that isn't a cat toy. And gets so excited when his cat carrier comes out. He absolutely loves going out in the car. And comes on holiday with us wherever we go. Right, let's meet Riley and his owner, Lauren. Yeah, what a clever cat this one is. Oh, it's a fan, the aristocrat. Riley is age three and his special ability is fetching. Well, it's the you fetch stuff. clever cat. It's beautiful. Let's find out from the judges. He looks very nice. He's uh, quite a big lad again and uh, he's settled in really well. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ali. I think Riley's such an elegant cat and I want to see Riley on a catwalk. Yes, yeah. I think you're right. And what's he saying? <laughs> He's saying to me, I'm more like a dog, but I don't need to be told what to do. <laughs> oh, Is that right? Mm. So it does sound about right, yeah. Does it? Okay. Oh, Very good. Gorgeous. Thank you for coming <laughs> in. Lovely. Thank you. Next up, well, who have we got? Is it's it ben? ben. It's me, Ben. Here's my Meet My Beautiful Cat, Ben. He's a blue-eyed ragdoll, colour point, and he's 14 months old. The reason why I think he should be voted Britain's feline top feline cat is because not only has he got the brains but he's also got the beauty I mean look at those beautiful blue eyes and he's also very agile for example he's got his uses in the winter I can wear him as a hat <laughs> right let's meet Ben and his human Alicia human Alicia oh no hello Ben Ben so I love cute. cats with just normal human names like Ben <laughs> hey Ben he's only one <gasps> Oh, his ability, he, oh, he likes hiding objects. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What does he hide? My boyfriend's car keys. Oh, that's... Wow. I think yeah. he's got a secret stash somewhere. <laughs> oh, really? So if you see a cat oh, driving yeah. Nissan around, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, ben. Let's come to you first of all, please. He's a very nice lad and typical of the rag doll. Very laid back and easy to handle. Gorgeous, honey. Brad Pitt of cats. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can't you just fall in love with that cat? Gorgeous. And absolutely, because he comments the fact he loves, there's lots of pictures of him in your house. Yeah. He just loves this. <laughs> Why is he yeah. looking the keys? Fun, amusement, clever. Oh. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah. he can drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a skill. Yeah. Um, thank you very oh, much. Thank you. Uh, right. Last but not least, have we got next? It's Socks, she's very cute. This is our cute kitten Socks. She's so perfect, 
She's seven months old and we call her a Perkoon because she's half Persian and half Mancoon. She's just going to do a little trick to show you how good she is. So kids, I'm going to show you full girl. Now I'm going to put it one of the, under one of the cups, I think. Yay! Nice clever. Right, let's meet Socks and his owner Claire. Well, we can socks. see why he's called Socks. Yeah. So sweet. Tell us about him. Uh, Socks is five months old and uh, his ability is mental agility. You are clever, Socks. Very right. clever. Let's come to our judges. He's got lovely white paws and uh, large expressive eyes. Very nicely groomed. <gasps> he's beautiful. What about you, Arlene? Socks looks like she's got her dancing shoes on and she's about to tango. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, she's so amazingly trusting, and I feel you can just hold this cat up in your hands like that, and it'll stay there. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Yes. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. now our judges have seen all five of the feline finalists. We'll now be back later with the results. Exciting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you, guys. Uh, see what happens. Competition. We're going to whittle it down. Uh, just going to lose one today. Aren't yeah, we? one's going. Now, earlier in the show, along with McFly's Tom Fletcher, we met our five cat finalists in our brand new competition, What's New Pussycat? Our judging panel consisted of Sally Tokens, a cat show judge, celebrity cat lover Arlene Phillips, and Jackie Weaver, an animal psychic. Now, they have been busy deciding which of our finalists will go through to the next round and who will be sent home. It's a tough job. I don't well, know. Well, they've all been you've really well behaved as well because I was hoping it was going to kick off. <laughs> that, you. Nearly did. Yeah, nearly. very, very, uh, very nearly. Right then, so away you go. Okay, well, all of our cats and their owners are here, and it's time to reveal the results. <gasps> First of all, we met Wesley and his own Anastasia with amazing gymnastic abilities, and I can now tell you that you are. You are safe. Congratulations. <sighs> Then we met Elfie and the Moggy all the way from Edinburgh, who is arguably Britain's most loving cat. And I can now tell you that you are... You're safe as well. Congratulations. Next up, it's Riley the Siamese cat. And his star quality was his ability to fetch. Although he looks like he's about to start kicking off. Yes, he Put is. Put him down. <laughs> Put him down if you want to. Whatever makes him happy. I can now tell you that Riley you may not be safe. Oh, Riley. Oh, Riley! Sorry, Riley. Next was Ben, the colour point ragdoll, who has a talent for hiding things. And I can now tell you, Ben... So chilled. ...that you are... You're safe. Well done, Congratulations. Ben. Congratulations. Ben does not Through. care. <laughs> Finally, we met Socks, the five-month-old... <laughs> ...cross Persian mancoon with the ability to guess which cup his ball is under. And Socks... I can tell you that you may be going. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my no. goodness, this is, this is brutal! So it's either Riley and owner Lauren or Socks and Claire leaving the competition. Oh no, don't <laughs> Sorry, throw me Riley, out. I'm sorry. Don't throw me out. I can now reveal <laughs> that the cat who is going home is. <gasps> <laughs> it's Riley, I'm sorry, oh, Riley. Oh, he, he does actually to want to go. He home, wants to go. He? And, and not only that, we'll say we'll say now, because let's get him comfortable. So thank you very, very much indeed for coming today. And although we thank weren't you. actually gonna turf you off the set, you could have stayed till the very end. We'll say thank you and go and pop him back in his basket. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. You. Bye, Riley. Thank, thank you, thank you, Bye, thank, you. Bye, thank you, thank you, Riley. Sorry you lost your temper. Riley definitely had enough. Um, a difficult decision for you guys. It was, and I think the thing you, you can see with Riley, um, he's a bit of a Miley, a Miley Cyrus does not do as anyone wants was him Riley to Riley twerking back then? <laughs> yeah, yeah. he was. I called it twerking. <laughs> <laughs> but we thought for the next bit of the competition, he wasn't going to want to follow any rules. <laughs> really, yeah. mm. just a bit okay, too so unruly maybe, Riley. Maybe that, so that was definitely the, yeah. uh, his downfall. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and how yeah, about he you? just wasn't laid back. He wasn't taking it all in his stride and he wasn't enjoying it. So. Mm. so now we're heading towards the final stage of this competition. What's your sort of advice for them to take away from this? For me, it's the relationship, not just the cat, but between the cat and the owner. That understanding, so they need to connect with their cat for everything they have to go through ahead of today. 
Lovely. Okay, well, good luck. They've been so well behaved, as have the owners. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Good presenting, by the way. Thank you very much. Nicely done. Well done, you. We'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm steady on. Right. Uh, <laughs> tune in next Wednesday for the next round.